the basics, so we're going to go pretty hard the next two days. Men's basketball coach John Tower is a unique member of the coaching fraternity. And then Not only because of his accomplishments on the court, but because of his commitments off of it. Coaching and teaching were two dream jobs of me and for me, and so to be able to blend those together has been uh, an amazing experience, especially at a school like St. Thomas, where I went as a student. Tower is just one of three NCAA basketball coaches with a PhD who educates students on the court and in the classroom. Dr. Dean Hurd, who worked here for a long time and was one of my mentors, would always call me Dr. Coach Tower during the academic year and Coach Dr. Tower during the basketball season. Tower currently teaches a motivation and emotion class. You have to help each other. He understands personalities and how to motivate people and how to um, best apply certain teaching styles depending on which guy he's talking to or which student he's talking to in the classroom. Being the team manager, Rodenbiker is the only student associated with the team who's taken one of Tower's classes. It'd be weird going to class during the day and then coming to practice later having a game. But there's a consistent answer to why that is. They get a big enough dose of me at practice that they say there's no need to see him three more times during the week. Tower's career path could have been altered if not for the help of current psychology professor John Burry. He was the guy that let me into his class when it was full. There was a wait list and he said, nope, come on, sit in the back corner. I don't think I even had a chair, but he said, if you want to take the class, you're in it. And that changed my life. If I'm not in that class, who knows what I major in? Who knows what I end up doing? Every time Tower leaves the court, and enters the classroom, he brings lessons learned from the team and shares them with his class. But why? Because we practice and there is no substitute for practice. Up next for Tower, a run at a D3 basketball championship and a classical conditioning lecture. In St. Paul, Jesse Crawl for TommyMedia.com. Because you're thinking,